Hi, my name is Dan Voyer, and uh, today we're going to learn how to uh, create a, a brushed metal background or a background to your website. I used it for uh, my uh, screen uh, background wallpaper, as you can see here, and I added my uh, logo uh, on top. So let's get going and. Uh, we're going to start with um, Photoshop. Uh, we need a new window. And uh, I'm going to call it uh, Background uh, Brushed Metal. So, and I'm going to put down the size of my screen which is 1920 by 2080 I press OK on that and as you can see I have uh, a new window now we're going to uh, make a gradient which I chose already which is right here the gray one uh, dark gray which I'm going to use so when I do that uh, I'll have a little dot here with a little X so I will pull that to the extent of my file all the way from left to right and that will create uh, my background my uh, gradient and uh, that's about it uh, what next uh, is to do is uh, add noise which is pre-configured already since I've been playing with this uh, lately I have a 15% amount with the distribution of uniform which I'm going to keep like this I could play around with this here which will give me a uh, different uh, size for the pixel but for I like the 15% it's a less it looks more like a metal brush anyway so once it's finished that is the size of the pixel that you add on to your gradient so I press OK on that I will go back to my filter and in the blurred area I will use the motion blur now this is will this will create already as you can see uh, it kind of swished my uh, pixels uh, left to right because of the angle here and I uh, put here uh, a parameter of 30 pixel which I could also play around with uh, it will give me a different uh, size on my metal brush here it depends on what uh, size uh, I want my brush to act on those pixels so 24 or 30 uh, I did a 30 before I kinda like 25 too now for some reason so let's put in 25 I press OK on that and my last uh, effect is a lighting effect so I will uh, pretty much here use this here I already uh, played around with it so I have this configuration you might want to use your uh, and play around with those parameters to get the uh, wanted effect so it's white and um, there you go so I press OK on that and you can see it added this nice effect to my background now I will just uh, copy and paste this uh, logo which is my logo which I I'll um, add on top here Oops, sorry about that so I copied it back here so so I go back to my file here and I uh, paste this and now I have it it's a little big so I'll do I'll use control control T to and with the shift key and holding the mouse I will reduce it uh, like I want really so and then I will place it where I want which is a little to the left I guess like you can do whatever you want here and then I press OK and there you have it I have uh, my logo on top of my uh, my layered background which is uh, my metal brush and here it is 
So that was uh, quite easy to do. Uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, uh, see you soon. Bye.